Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring where I've figured everything out. Uh, people have probably been screaming at me for like the last couple of episodes where the great rune of Ro uh, what's his name? Godric, I don't know why I wanted to say Roderick, uh, is powered up in the Divine Tower of Limgrave, not Leornia. God, these areas have such similar names. And you guys know that my reading comprehension is absolutely terrible. Yeah, this is the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which after like looking around the map can only be this thing. I think like if we go to Liurnia and we assume that this is the Divine Tower, which it very much looks like it, the Limgrave one I think is probably this. And it makes sense with the description as well after I read it that it's on the great bridge beyond Stormvale Castle. So I came back here. Only issue is uh, the closest bonfire is the main gate one. However, I never managed to unlock the main gate. Uh, I got close to it, I think, in one of the episodes. I just sort of chickened out. Yeah, had to adjust the face cam. I just chickened out because I was out of uh, Astis and shit. So, if I am correct, this should be the path that leads there. Yeah, I think this is... Like, we've been here before. And again, I just sort of quit with midway through, but... We are, of course, at an advantage here, uh, as I'm getting absolutely fucked up. That I am a little bit more powerful now. So, we're gonna... Oh, fucking hell, okay. Maybe I'm not that powerful. But... My weapon definitely is. So I think we somehow have to sort of work our... Okay, this is a bad, bad time to demonstrate. Was this that path? See, I'm not so sure anymore. Oh, come on. This definitely looks main gate-ish. Like, if I had to guess what the main gate path looked like, I definitely had something like this in mind, just you getting absolutely slaughtered by everything. This might not be a successful attempt. We're gonna try our best. Fuck. It's kind of a shame I didn't, like, manage to get the main gate opened. What the fuck is that? Never mind. Seriously, what the fuck is that? It's a lion. Oh, yeah? That's actually pretty cool. You have a lot of HP. Okay, it's the lion version of Sif. If I had more than two flasks, I would definitely try uh, fucking this guy up. Because it looks like he would drop some dope shit. I mean... There's always cheesing. No, this thing is very quick. It's like fucking... This is like a Neo boss. You guys remember that fucking electric asshole in Neo? Yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna mess with this. Uh, it can't come through here. And I'm very happy about that. Plus, oh... Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And I have 14,000 souls, so let's not... Let's not fuck around. I got more HP now, bitch. Come at me. The night, uh, like... I definitely should go through the game more when it's night. Uh, first of all, people have been telling me that there are some special like NPCs and shit that only show up at night. Plus the game just looks cool. Okay, your moveset is not that difficult. The camera is a little bit 
uncooperative, to put it mildly. Oh, come on, camera, please. Come on. If it kills me now, I'm gonna be so pissed. No, 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 d fuck, no, don't. You know what I meant to do? This. I'm all about cheesing a boss. Beast blood. We haven't had that. We had old fang. No, I think we did have beast blood as well. Cool. That was easy. No sweat. All right, then. Let's go ahead and check out this bridge. Man, I can't overstate just how long you... What the hell? This is a really weird shadow. Like something was flying overhead. Nice. I, if I had to guess, uh, lightning resistance. Please tell me. No. Ah. Oh. This is such a horse area, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Okay. I get you. I get you, game. There's a reason why you can't summon your horse here. Let's hope these guys are not that difficult. Ah, they have a lot of HP. But not as much... Oh, shit. Is there two of them? Cool. Go to the front. No, go here. To the heart. Glowing spot. Whoa. Oh, shit. There's one. About to get blasted, too. I already know. Yep. They fucking friendly fire. What an idiot. No. Uh, yes. I thought that would kill it. Whatever. I'm all about the spam. You guys are bitches. That is a big ass arrow though. Left and right. Left and right. Did I just like... How did that not hit me? I'll take it. You guys got nothing on Goff. That's a real archer. I just realized these red things are their weak spots. Uh, they kind of work like the tree in... Uh, Dark Souls 3. Okay, well that was... That was a bit of a pushover. That is a lot of runes, too. Huh. Farming location, maybe? I don't think so. That's gotta be it. Like, it, it looks like the exact same place as the Leonia one. We'll check out the Leonia one as well. Although I assume we need someone else. Like, probably the Leonia area's boss is what we need. Oh, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. We we gotta take a look. That might just be like nothing interesting here. Ah, uh, these things. Oh, fuck. There are some enemies I didn't want to see, and this guy is one of them. Okay. With magic, though. That's the way to go. Why can't you be chill like these eagles? Like, come on, bro. Okay, there's absolutely... No, there isn't jack shit here. Just feathers. Alright, let's see what we got. Yes! I knew it. I fucking knew it. Hopefully this doesn't lead to another boss fight. Doesn't appear to. This is a cool looking place. I generally like this vibe we have going with our character. Um, I'm liking this armor set and sort of the, the weapons and all that. You know, this is exactly the type of build I had in mind when I started the game. I wanted to sort of explore a bit of everything. And I think with this build, I for sure got that. 
you know, like initial builds in any FromSoft game are always a bit weird because you sort of don't know what you're going for. You see some cool weapon, you want to use it. You know, it's it's a bit of a mess, but it's worth going in there with a game plan. I really like this. Um, no enemies, which... This definitely looks like a boss arena. And there is a dead two fingers here. Restore the power of the great rune. Let's do it. I like I love the way that looks. Nice. That's a trophy. Cool. Is that it? Uh let me just check it out. Godric's Great Rune raises all attributes. <sighs> great Rune of the Shardbearer Godric. It bla it bla its blessing raises all attributes. This Great Rune is known as the Anchoring, found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first of the first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Oh, is that because he's like? Are they like all descended, like Godfrey, and then you have Godric and? Definitely one of the things uh, that's like, you know, generally being a fan of Game of Thrones and George R. R. Martin and all that. Um, the naming convention is something I'm noticing quite a lot. I, I think I saw maybe a Twitter thread on this, uh, which I didn't really go too deep into because uh, of spoilers. But you know how like... George Mar George R. R. Martin sticks pretty close to sort of like family names and all that, and that seems to be the case with Elden Ring as well. Okay, I just gotta figure out how to equip this rune. I'm gonna talk to you. That's my best guess. Oh, okay. Should look at the menu too. The Great Rune menu, you can equip great runes that had their power restored. You can use a rune arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped greater runes. Uh, yeah, screw it. And then, should I rune arc it? Uh, so what, I just use this? It's not temporary, right? I don't think so. I could have just screwed this up. Whatever. I'm happy. We got a lot more HP now. So what exactly did that raise aside from... Oh fuck, that gave a lot of stats. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. So these are basically like the Covenant system. It's like replacement. That's pretty cool. Megusta, Megusta, that's all I can say. Since we're here in the round table hold, we might as well have a quick look around. Uh, one of the things is... Yes. This hasn't been open in quite a while. I do like this guy's helmet. I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. We're part of the cult now. Gideon Hofnir has a time to wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elven Lord. I am accumulating knowledge to be all knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. Bring it on. The great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Okay, so there's five of them. We got him. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Kaled Wilds. 
volcano manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the grace given, veiled monarch and lord of Lane Dell. And Renala, queen of the full moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's academy. Okay. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? So those are the bosses, the big bosses. Uh, who is Nefeli? Oh yeah, the yeah the daughter. So they're not actually. She's not actually his daughter. She, she kind of sucked against Godric. I'm not gonna lie. I do like this. Like, when have you ever had proper lore on the main bosses? Yeah, see, told you about the blood lineage and all that. Because you can skip uh, Godric. Radon. Limgraves East. That's like a painting type thing, like from Dark Souls 3. Okay, so like to Limgraves East, it's gotta be this area, right? Like right here. Yeah, that's gotta be it, but I don't know, man. That kind of sounds like an advanced boss. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, right card next. Got the thesaurus out for sure. Lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Earth Tree. We haven't even seen the Altus Plateau, so. Interesting. Morgoth. Kind of sounds like a bitch. Oh, that's who, that's who the place we saw, or we like got teleported to. So he's the he's the last one. Okay, 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 and then Renala. Oh, so she's the boss of this place, or like Leornia. Like, this is classic. The thematics of this game are so souls. Like, even down to the fact that you have, like, one of the lords, sort of the big bosses, was just given the power instead of actually having it. I'll see you again, warrior. Yeah, the thematics of this game are very sort of classic souls. Obviously, I think the biggest thing is that George R. R. Martin probably just polished everything up, you know. And actually, you know, I wanted to check. Now that I have increased stats thanks to Mr. Godric, uh, can I equip everything? Yes, I can. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. All right. The last thing, of course, is this dude. Let's see if we can do some sh Yes, we can. Hell yeah. I think I'm sticking with this weapon. Maybe later on we'll find some, like, uh, other places to upgrade stuff. But for now, I think we're okay. 
Okay, it's a bit hard to see here, but I came back to Leonia. Like I said, I'm still gonna look at this tower as well, although... You know, I'm not expecting a lot because... If these towers are really for... These sort of boss souls... Oh, cool. I'm getting fucked up. I'm assuming we'll come here once we defeated... What was her name? Like, Remolad or something? Yeah, screw you, Pyromancer. Which, Pyromancers don't even exist in this game, but... Same shit. Fire Monk. God, it is difficult to see here, isn't it? God, it is difficult to see here, isn't it? Uh, it's all good. I think this is the place. And then you can even go through... Uh, there's a hundred percent of the dungeon there. There isn't. I'm gonna be very, very surprised. Carry and study hall. Cool. All right, ghost. What you got? Oh, celestial globe. Transmit to posterity. The wisdom of the moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Something fits on this pedestal. Interesting. You probably need something, right? Some item. For some quest. Well, this is very Bloodborne-ish, isn't it? Slash... Fuck, what is the place called in Dark Souls 3? The Academy, you know. You know what I'm talking about. It's very similar to that. Straight up ghosts. Interesting. Oh, look at these guys. They're like all fancy. Screw you. You ain't got nothing on me with my great rune now. And my shield. The nice thing is I can finally use the shield bash again. Oh, fuck. Is that an NPC? I almost sort of saw the NPC, like, name appear. Maybe it was just the health bar. Yeah, okay. Fuck, did you see that? Did you see that spell? Whoa, that's so cool. What? Cheater. What a cheater. Whoa, that's so cool. Is that a spell? Please tell me that's a spell you can get. Listen, I got magic too. You can go toe to toe. You with your giant fucking great bow of magic and me with my little buffed up weapon. Yeah, this guy can definitely fuck you up if you're not careful. But that got... That cuts both ways. Perceptor Miriam, is that what the name is? Because then it's a she. She can definitely fuck you up. This is a really cool area. I didn't even like I don't even know how this leads to the tower. Assuming it just kinda does. But do like this. Oh, come on. I mean, she's a bit limited with the spells she has. I'm not gonna lie. Bit of a one-trick pony. Okay, where the fuck is she? Carrie and Glinstone, nice. I'm guessing, I'm gonna take a look, but I, I'm guessing she went further up. Yeah, I don't think she teleported back down. This really is like, fuck. What is the magic area called? Like the Duke's archives of Dark Souls 3. You know what, which area I'm talking about. Even down to like the teleporting sorceress. 
It's like basically straight from that area. I'm gonna try very carefully sending this thing back down. Right, where are you at? There you are. Of course she has fucking... What a cheater. Seriously, what a cheater. Don't tell me you can do shit like this if you're a sorcerer in this game. I'd be very happy if you could do shit like that. That'd be very cool. I guess we're gonna find out when we get to that build. God! Damn, that's some cheating. Okay. How am I going to get to her? Fucking hell. But it's like seriously. Is this where she like turns up the heat? Like she can't hit me here because she's stupid. I mean, it's still Souls AI. But, um... Oh, okay. She can hit me. Oh, fuck. It has an AoE as well. Okay, I'm I'm genuinely kind of baffled. Uh, what we're supposed to do here? Because it's like not possible to hit her. Unless you're meant to like go up here and like, I don't know, drop down on her or something. If she teleports up here, I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah, fuck off, rat. Oh, you're meant to stealth. Fuck you. Okay, I got her. Yeah, get out of here with your melee. Oh, you're so getting... You're so getting it. Where is it? God, I gotta be in frame. Gotta do the point down to any magic user in PvP. I know this is not PvP, but you know what I mean. Run away like a bitch, you're gonna get hit. Alright. Um, we gotta figure out what the hell we need to do here. I guess you do gotta go up the rafters there. Then, oh, I don't know, drop down on the chandeliers, maybe? Sort of looks like you just gotta advance further on up. Okay, side note, upgrade your bow and arrow. That ain't dealing no damage. Oh, there we go. If this just leads to an item, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I, I gotta remember I have like a lot of shit equipped now. But still, having this like wide range of options, combat options, is definitely very convenient. Cerulean Seed Talisman. Oh, does this increase... Oh, it's a talisman. I'm assuming 
boosts FP. Yeah, okay. Lightning, yeah, okay. Sort of the standards. Uh, this can be it, right? Let me just take another look around. Okay, so I sort of overturned every nook and cranny of that place and I, I couldn't find anything else. So the only thing I can think of is that whatever this item is unlocks something else. It's like another ele elevator or something because like there's definitely more to this place. Plus we haven't been actually able to get to this here. So that's the only thing I can think of that we need to find whatever this item is, which if I had to guess, we'll probably get in the main area because I assume we have to come back here to activate Renala. I think that's her name, her great rune. Okay. This was useful, though, because it gave me a shit ton of souls. So let's go ahead and level up here. And we're gonna be, hey, two levels, nice. I'm gonna go dexterity here, yeah. And we can also, I think, yeah, we do have the int for some of these spells. Crystal burst. Let's just check these out. It's all thanks to Godric's rune. Okay, there's that. I'm not sure if that's gonna be, I assume it's a little bit more powerful than Glintstone Pebble. And we have this Crystal Burst. Ah, it's the shotgun one. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Okay, cool, and another thing I did is I rearranged my uh, Ashes of War back there, sort of original positioning. It's just, let's have order, you know, uh, with the Ashes of War. Oh, shit. Wasn't there? Weird, it really looks like you can get across here, right? It doesn't appear to be a cliff down here. Shit. Well, that kind of ruined my party plan. But there's definitely, you can... 100% get down there. So the question is how? Maybe... Oh, there's another... Yeah, because there's the other side of this building. Maybe like under the cliff or something. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. I genuinely thought I had something. Oh, well. Okay, that's where we're going next. There seems to be... Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's something. Uh, let's take a look. There's one of these statues who I'm no longer that scared of. That's for sure. Although this one might be slightly stronger. No, he's not. He's even easier than his buddies. Jesus. You gotta work out more, bro. Okay, whatever. I was on the wrong side. Are you freaking out? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, well... Too big of an issue. Take this. That did 96 damage. I'll need to compare it. Alright, what do we got here? Ainsel River Well. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa. Look at this place. It's like a giant cave.
I'm intrigued. Ainsel River, where the hell are we? We're like under the world map. Okay, we got a dungeon, apparently. Let's take a quick look here. Gonna get my music out, because... What is this? Ants? Okay, I see where the strength of... It goes through enemy... Holy shit. It doesn't seem to cause that much more FP than... Uh, you know, like Glintstone Pebble. It is straight up. We're now we're now playing Half Life Two, I swear. I am intrigued. This is what's so cool about this game: how you can, like go to a dungeon and sometimes it'll really just turn out to be a simple dungeon uh, and then other times you just come up on this crazy area they really just the amount of effort put into this game is just mind-boggling you know again as I said especially with how sort of cookie cutter and generic open worlds tend to be. I really can't stress this enough. Grace Mimic. We gotta check this out. L lose all runes, return to... Wait. That's, that's the wrong item. Light shows the path, but without order. Okay. I'm assuming this is something you would use more on the world map. Hey there. Or to not get lost in the fuck. And tunnels. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, um... That was a lot of damage. Okay, so Houston, we have a problem. It looks like that rune arc thing is temporary, because uh, I just started fat rolling all of a sudden, and I was like, what the shit is going on? Damn, okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. I had to de-equip my bow. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'll keep my shield around. It's really, it's not a tr too big of a tragedy. Uh, I probably should have paid attention and figured out how to use it to power up Godric's rune, whatever. But Godric's rune is supposed to increase my stats as well, right? Or like raise my attributes, yeah, whatever. Oh, okay, that's where you came from. So these guys definitely fall into the category of... They go down pretty quickly, but deal a shit ton of damage, so... We just gotta be careful here. Especially that ranged attack they did. If I stick close to them, it should make things easier. But definitely, keep them smithing stones coming. Okay. Camera... You need to cooperate a bit. Or actually... Maybe I should put this on. Fuck, do they just keep... They just keep spawning, don't they? Classical and shit. Just keep on spawning. God, it's really difficult. The camera is like... Very uncooperative here. Do I assume? Yeah, they just keep spawning. Alright, then. GTFO. This is not running away. This is a tactical retreat until I get backed into a corner. Then I'm screwed. Wow. 
Well, this is definitely... Okay. This is 100% not a standard dungeon. Okay, can I go back to my setup, please? Yes, I can. Okay. Very good, very good. Shatter star, shatter shard arrows fletched. Uh, what is this? Arrows whittled from animal bones tipped with shards of crystal. Creates a resonating noise at the point of impact. Oh, okay. This is like for distractions. I'm guessing. There's just like so much shit in this game. Like the build. Whoa. Am I like going into... Dark Souls 2's DLC. It sure as hell feels like it. Can end up fighting Sin the Slumbering Dragon if I'm not careful here. Well, we gotta like... We gotta like check it. Uh, like... We're committed now. What is this thing called? Ainsel River Sluice Gate. So it keeps showing the... That thing you can use to activate summons. So... I'm assuming there is eventually going to be some like badass boss that's gonna destroy me. Uh, so I am expecting that. Ooh, Paralas Ruins. Hey there, bros. I come in peace. There's a lot of you. We're gonna need some buffs. And these. Although this, you know, like, one of the things that is difficult to determine in this game is when you're, like, out of your league. Like, is the area just meant to be difficult, or are you not meant to come here just yet? Well, I'm certainly not welcome here. I, I thought I, I thought that was a bottomless cliff. That would have been like the most embarrassing death. There's a lot of you bros. Oh come on. Where did you come from? I'm assuming are do these dudes just keep spawning as well? That's what's going on here? Or is there just like a shit ton of them? Sort of on the lookout because this is suspicious. Oh fuck. This is not good. Like, I've barely touched this area and I'm getting absolutely. Well, this is a welcoming little place. Uh, I think these guys do, do keep spawning. They didn't seem to be getting, like, thinned out, you know. Okay, so you guys keep each other busy. I haven't summoned in so long. Uh, I'm gonna try picking up the items here and we're gonna peace out. Yeah, there are some enemies there. Uh, you can have fun. There's a shit ton of them behind me, right? Yeah, there is. Godric dudes, wow, you suck. I mean, they're good for a distraction, but man. Holy fuck. So many of you. I think my Godric dudes are dead. Maybe I should just bottleneck them. I mean, just when there's this many, that ain't easy to do. I took jack shit damage from magic as well. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is 
this i have that thing equipped where i lose it instead of my souls or my runes that sacrificial twig i think it's called and i'm gonna push through a little bit because i'm stubborn like that and to me this place is pretty awesome although pretty sure that i'm under leveled what the fuck is that Jesus. We need to get the fuck out of here, I think. <laughs> Give me them treasures. Oh, they're everywhere. Okay. Tengo una problema. What the hell is that up there? It's like some... It's like some fucking Bloodborne reject. Alright, we're getting the hell out of here. Uh, thank you guys. You have a great... Come back here later, I think. That's gonna be the, the motto. Because, whoa. Yeah, I think I knew I was in trouble when it takes me like four hits to destroy like the most basic enemy all right well we got this far we did get some good shit i need to use some runes for sure i'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of elden ring this was definitely an adventurous one we covered a wide sort of breadth of stuff for sure and i just gotta not forget to come back here I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.